This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief, working together for a better world, and by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S. Salam so everybody. This is Naeem Muhammad on the Dean TV. So you can know more about what's going on in the community. In particular, right now, one of the entertainers, we're here with Brother Saeed Dara. Salam so Saeed, how are you? Salam Doing good? Good, good. Your first time on Dean TV, I think, right? Yeah, first interview on Dean TV. Okay, good, good. For those who don't know, uh, my good friend here, Saeed Dara, is one of the community's uh, rising stars in the comedy scene. You know, he's been doing um, stand up and what have you. I wanted to talk to if you can tell our people how'd you get involved in it, how long you've been doing it. Um, I got involved in comedy pretty much because uh, our ummas uh, were very funny people. Yeah. We like to have fun. Um, but also, uh, I wanted to use my, uh, use my ability to, to, to crack jokes uh, for good. So uh, I got started doing a lot of uh, events for various organizations and for various causes. So awesome. I found uh, I had an ability to tell stories, and that's 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 where it so all started. Did you start? How how young were you when you first did? It, did it start out just as stand up, or did it start with like plays and skits, or, or what, how how did it start? Just if, if, if you really want to know how it started, yeah. It started. This this will show how like I guess how old I'm getting. Okay. Is uh, when when I was young, we didn't have uh, DVDs and things where you could quickly find scenes of movies that you wanted to to watch. All right. So my dad would just make me learn the scenes and make me learn the voices. So if if he wanted to hear, you know. Nutty Professor laugh or, or something, you know, I would, <laughs> you know, I had to do things like that. So I would have to do entire scenes, all the voices, Robert De Niro, Eddie Murphy, whoever it was. All right, cool. And uh, and he would just come and say, Said, show them that part of the movie I like. <laughs> show them. All right. And I, and, I, and I would have to do it. So that's where, that's where that came from. So from basically starting your living room, then what was your, what was your first like real show then to go from there? Honestly, I uh, and this can be like for for anyone who's listening right now. This is like a perfect. Uh, I, I I went for a very unique tactic. I actually decided that my very first time on stage should be at the biggest comedy club in Manhattan. Okay. Because everyone I knew was from D.C., so I performed in New York. Because if I was bad. Nobody in D.C. knew. Okay. So I, I performed for the first year in New York. And then, alhamdulillah, literally just before my first year in comedy, I was, uh, I was able to take my Palestinian kefiyah and perform on Broadway. Really? Yeah. So I, I, was, I was, alhamdulillah, quick learner. All right. So, so is, it, is it mainly a Muslim crowd or, or, what's, or is this general? Because I know some of the guys in the community... They have a set that they do in the community and otherwise, or how, how do you do it? What's yeah, your target I mean, audience look like? I, I, I found that when I tell stories, uh, funny stories about my family, they translate. So oftentimes somebody will come and say, I love that story about your mom. That's just like my mom. I'm like, you're from Palestine? No, no, I'm from Cuba. I'm like, what? So I actually realized that a lot of the, the, the comedy uh, translates over. So rather than perform a certain way for a Muslim audience or a non-Muslim audience. I just try to do all the same because to be honest, if you could perform for a non-Muslim audience and they like you, you've done a great deed for Islam. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. You know, and it's funny, even I guess because we're from music background and telling stories in music is a way, I mean, because people can find themselves in the song. So I guess sometimes you people are trying to find themselves in your joke. They can, like you said, oh, that was my mom did the same thing. Um, so, all right. So, have you done any like recordings, or or, or is that a, is that a goal of yours? Maybe do some um, album recordings, or or filming some shows, or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I'm still. Uh, I've only been at this uh, about maybe what three years, okay. three and a half, maybe four years now. Okay. Uh, and. I took a very unique, you may even call it bad, uh, uh, track when I started my comedy because 
I didn't look into recording myself all the time and taking the selfies and doing all of that. I wanted like each individual audience to feel like they got something special. Okay. So I didn't do all of that. That's kind of not a good idea for anybody who's trying to, uh, you know, come up because. <laughs> Then people don't really know you, except for the ones who saw you. So you're like the underground, like yeah, I'm underground like real, comedian. Like right now, everybody's like, isn't that the guy that was at the Islamic Relief booth asking me to make a donation? And he's a what? He's a comedian? He wasn't very funny, but I'm kind of like that underground guy for now. For now. But uh, inshallah, it's, uh, you know. So what's your next move to, to be, you know, above ground so that people know they can go to your website or... Or follow you, or what? 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 How, yeah, I mean, what's your goal? What's your um, plans on that? If, level? if you really want my ultimate goal, my ultimate goal is to not be the best Muslim anything. My ultimate goal is to just to be the best uh, comedian that I can be, and to make a name in comedy, and and also be Muslim at the same time. Because I'll tell nice. you, especially for all the youth, and you know better than anybody. You all know it, like Native Dean. It's not about. I want to change the game as a Muslim. Just change the game, period, and let your and let the fact that you're Muslim also come out at the nice. same time. You know, uh, Muhammad Ali made a lot of people learn how to pronounce the name Muhammad. Right, right. Because he was an amazing boxer, but he never said, "I want to be the greatest Muslim boxer of all time." He just said, "I want to be the greatest boxer," and people learn to respect you. So, inshallah. I will continue to grow to the point where people can have something I didn't have when I was a kid. They can come in there and say, watch this YouTube video. This guy's hilarious and he's just like me. You nice, know, so nice. inshallah, that, that's my that's my ultimate goal. But for now, there's a lot of people suffering around the world. Uh, right. We need to try to help it, them too. And that's a good reason, especially since over the loudspeaker, we just heard them make an announcement for um, Islamic relief. Yeah. So along with being a comedian, you're a humanitarian and you do a lot of work with islamic relief so so um what got you involved what how, how did you get involved with ir and 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 it was that like part-time comedian part-time uh i mean full-time comedian full-time uh relief guy uh to be honest as an entertainer we produce a lot of events we do a lot of events all over the world um and we be, we almost create like we have an expertise we we suddenly become experts in what we're doing uh, so what I decided to do was I wanted to join great organizations like Islamic Relief and assist them with their events, show them kind of uh, a different side of things. So I joined up with uh, Islamic Relief, uh, helping out a lot with, uh, with those events. And uh, to be honest, you know, like if your mom tells you to take out the trash, it doesn't matter if you're in a suit, it doesn't matter if you're ready to go for, you know, go to the gym, you become the trash guy. Right, you know, right. and if and if your mom says she needs you to help her make a meal, you become a cook. Well, my family in Gaza and Palestine, Syria, Jordan, they wanted me to help give back to them. So I had to become a humanitarian Mashallah. because that's what they asked me to do. Mashallah. So for everybody out there, that's that's I like that. I like that's that. that's huge. Alhamdulillah. So on, um, is there any particular message that you know? That you want to talk, get put out there about the work that you guys are doing at Islamic. That that we, I mean, I, I on, you know, I'm with you Absolutely. as well. But, but is there anything in particular that the community should be aware of, whether it be Gaza, whether it be in, 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 in Syria, or even here in the states? Is there anything that you want to put out there? Absolutely. Uh, everybody who's even standing here right now, we're here because at some point we had a a, a parent. We had a, a guardian who was able to take care of us, give us that little bit of hope, so that way we could become what we want to become. If you really want to think about it, the people who need the help all over the world, not just where you're from in Palestine or Egypt or wherever, but also all around the world, these people just need this ounce of hope. And when they get this ounce of hope, it's, it's almost like you're watering that seed. Nice. So if you're already growing into a tree, that's fine. But don't forget about the seeds around the world that also need a little bit of water as well. And alhamdulillah, Islamic Relief uh, USA and, and many organizations are doing great work. Don't ever be just like Native Dean. Be, be just like guys like Naeem where you're not letting your egos get to your head. I have no problem showing up and performing for 10,000 people and then standing at a booth and trying to collect a few dollars for Gaza. So if you ever become bigger than your cause, you need to stop what you're doing. Nice, nice. Alhamdulillah.
Well, again, thank you for spending time here with us on Dean TV. We hopefully, I mean, it'd be one of the things that we're looking for, we're looking for um, comedians and people to write material. So if you ever feel like you have an idea or something that you want to get out there, this is home for you at Dean TV. We thank you for your time. Selling ground, selling ground, too. And again, thank you guys for tuning in to Dean TV, always on, always live. This is Naeem Muhammad. Hey, thank you guys.